Welcome back to the channel. It's a quick Q&A today. It's going to be about five to six minutes answering these four different questions here. Let's just jump straight into it. I'm in my car because why not? Let's just jump into the Q&A and get the video started. So the first question is talking about my training in the off season and what I do. So what I do in the off season is I'll tell you exactly what I did this is off season. So this off season, I went to Australia. I went back to Australia and I said to myself, I'm getting into the first team this preseason. I'm making my way into the first team. And I'll be honest, that's exactly what I did. I come back and I was the fittest player in preseason. Um, and I made my debut for the club. Then I met, went on into the season, made my pro debut for Bournemouth. What I did in the off season was a hell of a lot of running, fitness running. Um, I went and did a lot of fitness running. So the fitness running included um, Eurofit. So there is a Eurofit drill uh, that you can do if you just search up Eurofit um, online, you'll be able to find it. I then obviously did lots of bleep tests to make sure I was getting in the right times that I wanted to be. Um, and then a lot of ball work and gym work, strengthening work. So what I would do, my typical off season day would look like I would wake up around six, drive straight to the pitch for around 7 a.m., 8 a.m., get there, do about an hour and a half to two hours, an hour mostly of ball work, an hour 15 of ball work. The next 45 minutes would then be a running session. And then I would drive straight to the gym, do a full upper body session or a lower body session. Uh, my lower body sessions then were mainly consistent of a lot of injury prevention work as I was trying to prevent as much injuries as possible, especially going into the preseason, going to the new season and trying to kind of minimize my injury risk since I was training so hard in the off season. After that gym session, I would then go and in the gym there was ice baths and there was Normatec compression recovery, foam rollers and I would do that for about the next hour to two hours. So that first kind of six to seven hours of my day was fo solely focused on maximizing my potential and increasing my performance. Um, and that's why I went to Australia because I knew the facilities there I could get, I knew I could get the ice baths, I knew I could get the pitches, I knew I could get the gym all in kind of the, the vicinity of 30 minutes to each other. So that was kind of my off season schedule. I hope that kind of insight did help. Moving on to the next question. Next question is talking about what, what inspired me to do football alongside my business. I'll be completely honest with you guys. At Bournemouth, um, I was on a non-contract, which means um, I wasn't signed to the club, but I could play for them and I was a registered player. And I was a youngster there coming through the academy. I'll be completely honest. I didn't get paid. Um, I didn't. I didn't get any any money, any anything from the club. Um, and that was fine with me. Like I don't want anything from the club. I just want football because I, I love the game. Um, and that is kind of why I set up a business on the side. Um, and why I've made slightly a bit of money on the side because I have to be able to pay for things like traveling to games, um, paying for my expenses, my fuel, um, my food, my rent for the house and those kinds of things. So that is why I've set up a business on the side and that business has kind of expanded into a few different things, um, opportunities that have arisen and the business obviously has related to my social media. The social media originally I'll be honest, the original social media did start out of the love and it still is the love of just documenting my life and helping you guys along your journey to get where you want to and achieve this success um, and hopefully learn from my failures and learn from my experiences I've been through so that you don't have to make those same failures. You know what failures I've made and how you can just then learn from that and get better. And that's kind of what I teach in my app as well is um, I go live every week and just talk about my experiences. Are you guys get to ask me any questions um, and you kind of learn the most from me within the app um, and kind of get to know my deeper self and know the reasons why I left clubs, know the reasons um, behind more of me. And so the business aside, um, I started the business on the side because I love business personally. I'm such a business minded person and have always loved business and money and those kinds of things. So having a business now and be able to work for myself is 
honestly an amazing thing to think about. It's one of my greatest achievements so far. And I've got so many things that I want to accomplish more. So um, yeah. So next question, I moved a bit more into the light since I've just realized the lighting was absolutely horrible. Uh, looking back at those last clips. But let, next question is, do I play professionally? And how is my football career going in general so I have said to you guys many of the times before I am not a professional footballer I have made my profession football debut um, but I have not signed a professional footballing contract in my life and that is obviously still my goal that's why I named it the professional diary it's my diary to becoming a professional um, and I think the name also stands for like just living a professional life, living a business professional life, living a professional life in the sporting world. Um, but my football career in general at the moment is it, going well. Um, I'm I'm happy at where I am. I even though okay, so a bit of news. I have left Bournemouth Football Club now. Um, I've decided to leave um, and I am very grateful for all the opportunities I got at Boreham Wood. Um, I'm very grateful for everything that the manager Luke Garrard um, and the chairman for the opportunities they gave me. They allowed me to go on pre-season with the first team and then obviously made my debut, uh, first team debut and then also professional debut. So that is something that I'll always remember is obviously my professional debut. Um, so yeah, I'm very grateful for that. But at the time, um, it's just not the right time for me at the club since I'm not an experienced player and um, obviously as a defender you do need experience and you do need to build up that experience so I have left the club and decided to uh, drop down one or two leagues to then hopefully build up that experience and I can move further on up um, and just build up my game time because there's no point in me sitting on the bench um, for a first team and not getting game time, I need to be playing. Um, and although it is amazing to to be around that that environment and absolutely invaluable experience, um, I do need to build building up my game time and my men's footballing experience. So that is what I'm currently doing at the moment, waiting to currently sign for a club. Um, but it should be hopefully very soon that I'll be signing for a club uh, in the in the one or two leagues below. So yeah, this question I've got is how can I log into your app and is there a fee? So there is a fee. Um, firstly, how can you log into my app? Basically, you go to the link in the description or in this on the screen now, the pro diary um, dot remote coach um, and the whole link will be there so you can see. You can then create your account and choose your subscription. So there are three different subscription models. The first one is just a one month subscription. Um, you can try it out for a month and then obviously um, decide to continue that subscription after your month after you absolutely love it because I know you guys will um, the second subscription is a three month subscription so with that three month subscription you will get it at um, 27 pound 50 per month so this one month subscription is 30 pound per month three month is 27 50 per month and then the six month subscription is at 25 pound per month so obviously you get the decreased price if you sign up for a longer period with the the paid that is obviously i've said it so many times the amount of value you're getting you're getting gym programs every three to four weeks so you get an entire three to four week gym program put it into perspective you would pay a personal trainer for two sessions two personal training sessions at the gym you would pay them about 90 pounds 90 to 100 pounds that is only about two hours you're getting a whole one month for 30 pounds and the amount of other content that's in there, nutrition that's in there. I've got so many different recipes in there that you can use, that you can tailor to your needs. There's calories in there, so you can just adjust the ingredients slightly to make it fit your calories. Obviously, there's gym programs that you can follow along with. There's So the gym programs also have videos in the app, so they tell you exactly what exercises to be doing, um, how to do the exercises, um, and just follow along with me. It's me doing the vi it's me doing the exercises. So you can just copy me. Then you also have follow along stretching routines, follow along ball mastery routines. I'm about to go out tomorrow and film a technical session, as one of you guys asked me to film it, and I'm going out to film that for the app. Um, I 
you've also got the community, which is where um, one of you guys asked me to film that. And I respond to you guys mostly within the day, mostly within the probably three to four hours um, and respond to you guys in there. Whereas Instagram, it's very hard for me to respond because I'm getting so many messages. So within the community, you get direct access to me and ask me any questions that you want. And I think that's a massive, massive um, kind of point of the app um, you get a whole community of people like yourself motivating you and are on the same journey as you so yeah it is obviously there's a fee you go and create your account through that link in the description or on the screen um, you go there create your account and you can select your subscription that will then obviously you would create a username and password then you can go and download the app from either the app store or the android google play store and log in with your username and password since you've selected your subscription you've paid and that is everything done this q a is all done that is the four questions i hope you guys did enjoy make sure you like subscribe comment all that stuff and i'll see you in the next one peace out